know, I've been uh, a part of the Church of Roth family for a little over 18 years, going on 19 years now. And throughout the years, we've done many different projects and done many different things. And what I did was I kept the a copy of an envelope or a flyer or something and I've put it on my refrigerator uh, door. When we first started building this, this building that we're in now, we had a sponsor, a seat. And what I did at the time that uh, this program was going on, um, I had um, lost my job and was given a severance package. And actually, instead of trying to hold on to that money and, and keep grasp of it because I didn't know where I was going because I had an uncertain future, I thought, you know, I'm going to sow a seed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sponsor one seat. And then as I spon I didn't just sponsor the seat. What I did with my time off is I came in and I remember, you know, wiping the seats down and sweeping the floors and getting things ever prepared for services and for for moving into this uh, this sanctuary. So this is important to me because it was a, a turning point where, man, I could have kept something to myself. I could have, you know, again, uncertain about my future, not knowing where I'm going, not knowing how I'm gonna pay my, my rent and things like that. And I thought, no, I wanna give. I wanna do something. I wanna do what pastors taught us all these years is to, you know, step out to sow a seed for a need and watch the harvest come in. And it wasn't just a one-time harvest. It's been a continual harvest coming in in, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. I want to matter. The 35 started at this started Church on the Rock. I'm a result of what they've paved the way for. It's not about where you're at, not just where you're at today, but where you're going. It's about your families. It's about your loved ones. Um, it's about your unsaved co-workers. Um, it's about anybody that you encounter that doesn't know Christ. It's your opportunity to use this as a tool, um, not just for here, but for out in the community. So if you're not a part of the community, and builder ministry. I want to encourage you to do that. I want to encourage you to think generational and think how important it is and, and think about those who have gone before you that have brought you to this point and how much this ministry has impacted your life and what can you do to be a part and to impact the next generation and the next people that may be coming in through these doors.